Hi, me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this pretty neat graphic of a strand of barbed wire that's wrapped. I've already started it. There are several ways you could do it. So this will probably be a two-part video. We are going to take the ellipse tool and without holding down the control button, you just get like an oval. Now we're going to go to object and convert it to a curve. So we get our nodes. We're going to take our shape tool, select them all. We're going to add nodes. Okay, now we're going to make a duplicate of that and nudge it over. So they both have the same amount of nodes. But what I want to do is I want to change one of them. So what I'm going to do is select it and take a, select them all and take away a few nodes. Whoop, can't take them all away. Um, just take a few nodes away. We want them to be a little bit different. And then you could always like select these two nodes and add a node. You know, you could select these two nodes and add a node. So now we're going to take this one and we're going to grab the underneath the, the shadow tool, the distort tool, and we're going to bump this up. But then we're going to go to, we want it to be smooth, but then we're going to bump it up some more. Maybe we'll hit this once. Maybe that's too many. That's not bad. And a lot of times this might work. We could go control D and make a duplicate and mirror it either left or right or up and down. But it's pretty much the same. So you, that's not going to work in this case. So now we're going to take this one and do the same thing. And because we have different nodes... See, like right there, we're going to go ahead and make them smooth, and we're going to do exactly like we did on the other one. I'm hoping it's going to get us the look we want. I'm going to make it black, and I'm going to nudge it back over. And like I said, you could, you could spend a lot of time on this. You know, some of our nodes in the middle are the same, but if we take them all now and go up to object and convert them back to a curve because the distort tool did something to them. We could actually hand manipulate some of these nodes and uh, you can see like right there. They're all going to be blue for just a second. You got two nodes on top of each other. And a lot of times you could take your nudge factor. It might be easier to change your nudge factor like 0.125. Grab you a node and just hit the arrow key. You know, and then you could still, you know, play around with the design, move it back. And we also got to think about we're going to, these are hairlines, so we need them spaced out a little bit apart because of the fact that we're going to uh, make them thicker. And I'm just, I'm hitting the down arrow key, which I don't, for some reason, it's not uh, doing the best job for me. I'm going to move that one down. Anyway, you get that point. And then we're going to take both of them and let's make it, uh, well, let's make them both black. Well, let's go ahead and make them three points and then make them black. That way you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And that's not half bad. Um, you know, you could still manipulate the nodes by, you know, going like this and just, moving stuff around. You know, you don't want maybe two wires on top of each other, but, um, you know, and you could always go back to the other one and move it. But, you know, you could spend as much time or a little time on you want. And what's going to happen when we put the barbs, it's going to change it quite a bit. So now what we want to do is, is do a line. And I'm actually going to use the freehand tool and go from about that node and just kind of curve it a little bit. Go from there and kind of curve it a little bit. We want those two lines to be together. So we drew them at the same time. We're going to go ahead and make them. I think we did two points. No, we must have done three. And go ahead and make it black. And then what's kind of good about this, we could hit Control-D. And we can mirror them sideways. And we get that effect of the bob wire. Now we can move that one over kind of where they're going to join and you could actually join it up there and and then you could still manipulate the end nodes you know 
Well, every once in a while, if you double click on something, a node, it's going to disappear. You know, and you could change these nodes quite a bit. We probably want to, you know, maybe get this one to cross, uh, maybe add a node right there and then bring this back down. Then all you need to do is just, since we were, uh, I think we were nudging seven inches, we're gonna nudge 3.5. And we're gonna hit the plus key and mirror and control D again. Now you've got three strands. I just kind of thought that one thing I did not do that I wish I would have, I wish I would have made a copy of the original ellipse but we can kind of play with this so there's your stands of strands of by wire and you might even want to take one and and mirror it around you know so it's a little bit opposite and then just kind of look at your strands of bob wire and it's going to be a mess down here because the bob wire is going to be a mess i mean it's nothing uh, you know that Especially if people have ever worked with barbed wire, uh, it's a mess to work with. But you really just want two strands at the bottom. I think that looks pretty good. And, you know, there's still a lot you could do with it. You could control G and group it and then stretch it and make your circles less, you know, less of a, or more of a circle or more of an oval. You know, you could, you know, stretch it and just see what you like. Anyway, so stay Tuned. I've done Bob wire before, but never like this fashion. So stay tuned for part two, and we'll see how much we can get done. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.